Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani if it's your first time here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what I got from the Sephora VIB sale. So I'm gonna show y'all what I just used out the gate because I was running out of it and I had to use it because everything else I have not touched yet because I wanted to make sure I showed it to y'all and it wasn't used that's just me but I had to use my face wash because I literally ran out like out it was like what is the irony like honestly I never run out of my face stuff around a a sale like it was kind of weird so I wanted to try the first aid beauty skin rescue deep cleanser with red clay so I use their other one I think it's just called a deep cleanser I'm not too sure mm. I'll have a picture for it though I use that one but with this mask that I have to wear everywhere I go like my skin has been out of control comment below if you have that same issue because I have that issue I kind of had to ante up up the ante uh, I don't know which way you say it but I, re I had to go a little you know big a level up and this was the best way to go because I have sensitive skin so I can't use something that's for acne prone because my skin will definitely get way more out of control but this was just right and that's how the other one that I use from first aid beauty is it's for sensitive skin so I never felt like my skin was burning or anything like that so I've been using this so far I really do enjoy it I do feel like once I use my other skincare products that I bought from the sale which you'll also see I have more of a control on my mass knee acne hormonal breakouts everything everything I'll have more of a control on it but I really do enjoy this so if you need something that's just a little bit stronger I would try this for sure and then this is a oldie but a goodie. I might have showed this in my last haul. I'm not sure. But this is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I've had this for maybe, I want to say maybe a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half or, or, or a month. But you can see it's almost, well, I don't want to say almost done. But you can see I've used it. I put a little dent in it. Um, but I love this stuff. It always exfoliates my face. Sometimes, honestly, if we're being real here, I get busy and just adding a scrub to my skin routine after a long day of work, working out, YouTube, or, you know, just, you know, everyday stuff. It's like, I ain't got time. But that is a chemical exfoliator, so I'm still good on the exfoliating part because I have oily skin on top of sensitive and if I don't exfoliate my face my skin feels disgusting like I know when I need to exfoliate because it doesn't feel good at all and that kind of saves me from having to exfoliate so much with scrubs because that is like an everyday exfoliator not gonna lie though because of this mass knee and hormonal acne I got going on I probably will up the number because right now it's a two and this is for dry combination and I know you like probably like girl you don't have dry combination skin but my skin is sensitive it is oily but it's also sensitive so I have to sometimes I have to go on the lighter side of stuff but I think I'm gonna up it to three which I think is combination oily because this skin is just acting up so I feel like that's the best way to combat that so your girl went to the store to get her face wash and her Clinique and then I came out with a bag of stuff. So I got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and Sweet Candy. I've never smelled this before. Let me... Mmm, nah, this smells really good. Like this, this, this smells really good. Like if you love candy, you'll like this. Um, it also comes with a spatula, which is good because I'm big on not dipping your finger in your skin like your cream for your face and also anything for your lip because you know you just don't want to double dip you know and contaminate this but I've heard good things about this I've had a sample from it and I'm like yo this is bomb honestly when I put it on at night when I had the sample my lips were moisturized till morning now I will say you might want to drink some water before you put this on just to make sure your lips are extra hydrated but this will do the trick. So I believe this was the, the original price like $22 but after the sale it was like I want to say 18 
So, you know, you get a little little discount. I'm VIB. I'm not Rouge. I was Rouge. Lost it because, you know, girl trying to save coins. But that's neither here nor there. But, yeah, this is really good. So, if you don't have, like, a lip mask for at night, I suggest you get this. So, I got the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Serum. And I've used this, I want to say, two years ago. And to be honest, I don't know why I stopped using it. This serum is really, really nice. I have sensitive skin, which tends to be red a lot. And this serum is very soothing. When I put this on my face, I'm, I notice my inflammation is lower. And it's just really soothing to the skin. I have the mist to this. Now, to be honest, I'm not a fan of the mist. But I'm a fan of this. <laughs> so I really do enjoy this. I suggest purchasing this if you're looking for a serum to help combat your redness. This is a really good good one. I believe the price is 55 or 55 or 60. But I'll definitely have everything listed in the description box. So don't worry. I got y'all on that. So I also got the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment Face Oil. Now I used this before, but this was before I knew how you're supposed to use oils and serums and how they're different. I've always heard people say, how, you know, they're different, you know, you don't, you know, use them the same way. When I tell you I did research on what's the difference, I still couldn't find anything until one day I was on Instagram, I was browsing through somebody's story and I saw how you use the serum and the oil. I was like, oh shoot, okay, now I get it. And ever since then, I'm not gonna lie, I put, I put oil on my face and y'all probably like, but you have oily skin, but let me get into it. So let's say you have a specific problem, like your skin is dry and you want to add moisture into the skin. Or for me, your skin, is, you know, has a redness problem. You have, you get serums for that. So you put your toner on, then you put the serum on. Then you put your moisturizer on. And then, don't forget the sunscreen. Then you put your sunscreen on. And then you put the oil. So what the oil does, which makes a lot of sense when you think about it, oils are thicker, serums are more lightweight. What the oil does, it creates a barrier on the skin. And honestly, believe it or not, you need a barrier. That will help you stop breaking out. Because when your skin has a barrier, it's hard to, it's harder for like dirt and, you know, extra stuff to get in. You know, you Skin's a little thicker. So what this oil does specifically, it manages and prevents acne and blackheads. So this is gonna act as a barrier to my skin, but it's also going to help fight acne, which makes sense because, you know, after I put all that stuff on my skin, you know, you need that extra oomph. You need, you know, you gotta set it in. And you know, sometimes serums just do that, don't do that. So. Here, here's what you're supposed to do. Cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen, oil. So that's why I got this. Um, I believe this is $80, but with the sale, it was like $68. But, you know, I'll have everything linked for you. But yeah, I, um, I, I tried this before and I really did enjoy it, but I wasn't using it properly. So I'm excited to see. Now you see why I'm like, yo, once I get... You know to sit you know my other stuff in this skin gonna be a little better because I really do believe that once I add that serum back in and those that oil I'll be good to go all right so this is stuff I bought from online so I got the origins out of trouble 10 minute mask to rescue problem skin now I'm not gonna hold you yes online they tell you the sizes but let's be real here I don't analyze all that and this thing is kind of small. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure a little goes a long way because it's Origins, but this thing is a little small. But I'm actually really curious to see if this is one of those things that just zaps your breakouts, like, right away. Like, it just gets rid of it. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to try it tonight because, you know, everything just acting crazy lately. I don't know if holiday stress. I don't know. I don't know if it was the food I ate at Thanksgiving, like I don't know. But I'm gonna try that and see if it just rescues my skin like it says it will. Now I got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Spray. Now basically this is Brazilian bum bum cream in a mist. And honestly, I had to. Like when I go to bed at night, I usually, after I get out the shower, I use like an oil 
and then I will um put the Brazilian bum bum cream on now I get to spray myself with it come on that thing smells so good and if you don't think so I don't know what's up because that it smells so sweet I don't know like I just love the way it smells so to be able to now spray it on myself before I go to bed I'm uh, I'm happy and I know my husband will love it too but that's neat you know it's a conversation for another day I've been wanting to try this liner for a long time and it's the Kat Von D everlasting lip liner in crucifix and I actually like it this because it's retractable so as you could see hold on I want it to focus come on focus 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 so I'm actually curious to try this it's a little darker than cork so I don't think I will replace cork um, I mean replace this with cork but I do want to try it and just see I really I heard it's really creamy like I heard good things about it so I'm really excited to try it so if you watched my last haul you probably saw that I didn't buy a lot of makeup but this time I really tried to dabble in the makeup so I got an eyeshadow palette and I got the Amrezy and by Anastasia Beverly Hills and honestly what attracted me to this palette palette was the colors like I mean look at this blue like beautiful it's really rich and I want to dabble in more colorful eyeshadow looks um, I'm very as you can see a gold neutral kind of girl but I really do want to dabble in some fun colors so I thought this was a great way to add to my collection because I already had the sweetie and morphe palette and I honestly I haven't touched it because it's so colorful and I'm just like I don't know if I want to use it but I'm gonna dabble into some colors but what I really like is that they got a color well not a color and I know I said colors before I mean shades look at the shades but they got a shade that says Gemini yes yes shout out to the Gemini's if you're a Gemini comment down below I know we're most hated but I love us and people just don't understand us and that's why we're most hated but I really do like this palette it's beautiful um oh shoot I didn't even notice she got another shade and it says New Yorka yes New Yorkas we we the realists but I really do like this palette and I'm excited because it has it you know it has the colorful shades but then it also has you know the neutrals in there so you get the best of both worlds great to travel with and can we get into this case though like so pretty like really pretty now this next thing right here I had to get for nostalgia reasons the Lancome juicy tubes now I'm not gonna front I know these probably been around forever but I I got like my cousin when I was probably like 12 gave me like a whole set for Christmas it was they were mini ones but it it was like 20 of them and I loved them so much like I used every color and then I like did not see them and then one day I was just on Sephora and they were promoting I'm like okay they can't did they come back or were they around like what happened so I had to get this for nostalgia purposes because I just when I was a kid I loved them they were everything and this shade is marsh not shade this color <laughs> this color is marshmallow electro let me I can't smell anything I don't feel like squeezing it but this looks fire fire I love it you know I'll just put some on for the heck of it who cares so I put some on for the heck of it Mm, yes honey juicy tubes for the win <laughs> but I, I really I really did um I really did want to get it because I just it just bought that back that nostalgia and you know I'm a nostalgic person to the T so when I saw this I was like I gotta get it I gotta get it I had two on my cart but I was like nah I ain't gonna do that I'll get one like I've said before I'm someone that when I'm trying something I get the mini and usually the mini lasts me forever so when I saw that Laura Mercier came out with a translucent honey powder and it came in a mini you know what I did I got the mini so this is the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and honey now I had the original one and I'm not gonna lie to you when everybody was swearing by it I was like this shit don't work <laughs> like I literally was like yo what 
is everybody talking about because this does not work so I heard they redeem their self with this honey one so I'm excited to try it um I got the mini just because like powders last forever for me like I just you know I don't wear makeup that often so like I literally will have a powder for two years I know that sounds crazy because y'all probably like do y'all do you still have it yes I do and I don't, I'm sorry I just don't care no, because I'm not throwing out a $40 powder because it's past its mark. So I heard great things about this Dermalogica pre-cleanse, but I didn't want to fork out the bucks for the $40 one because what if I don't like it? So I was like, well, let me get the mini and I'll probably use this tonight, but I've heard really good things about it. And honestly, even if you're not wearing makeup, you should pre-cleanse every night. That's a way for you to double cleanse. And I've heard that this really strict, you know, just really gets you clean. Um, estheticians have recommended it. So I'm actually really excited to try this. The mini one's like 13 bucks. So, you know, if you just like, I'm not ready to fork out the $40, get this one. But yeah, I've heard this is really good. So I'm excited. So as you know, I collect the gloss bombs by Fenty. And this is hot chocolate. And this is my last one that I had to get. I'm probably gonna get the holiday one, but this was the last one of the big one. And I'm really excited. I, to be honest, never dabbled in like dark, rich colors on me, but this got me one to try like with like a chest lip liner from MAC or even the Crucifix. Put that on my lips with this, fire. I might try it in my next video, so stay tuned. But um, I just really love gloss bombs like they keep your lips you know plump and you know moisturized like they last and I love like that it has like a little mirror here for you to look but I just really love them and you know I love Rihanna so I'm glad that you know she has her own makeup line her foundation is fantastic I just love the whole line so I had to pick up you know something from Fenty you know because what's a Imani Sephora haul without Fenty. So next thing I got is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Syracuse. And I heard really good things about this foundation and I really wanted to try it. So when the sale came around, I was like, it's the perfect time because honestly, foundation Sephora are not cheap. So it's like, I try to get them on sale. So when this came out, I was like, let me grab it. I used to have not the sheer glow the other one i can't remember the name i liked it but it i wasn't that big of a fan but i heard like this is really really good so i'll probably try this next time i wear makeup just to see but honestly nars is really good when it says it's matte it's matte to match the nars foundation i had to get the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger and I had this before and I really, really enjoyed it. If you've ever tried the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, you would really like this. It's just a bougier version and it, it does have more coverage um, than the Maybelline Fit Me. But those two are kind of hand in hand. But I really do love this. It goes on smoothly, blends smoothly. Um, you can even if you like just let it sit for a second, it's still going to blend smoothly. It's not going to get too tacky. Because I know sometimes like if you let some concealers get too tacky, they don't blend as well. But this, I have no problem with it. So I have, I'm not going to lie, I haven't purchased this in a while. But I was like, since I'm getting the foundation, I'll get the concealer as well. But when I used it, I loved it. Like I used it every day. That's how much I loved it. So I'm telling you right now, this is good. And last but not least, what is another, <laughs> another Imani Sephora haul without a beauty blender? Like I get these every time because it's like right when the sale is, that's when I need a new beauty blender. So boom. I prefer the nude because I noticed that it doesn't get as dirty as the black one or the pink one. So I just prefer this better. I think I said this last time, but I really like how it has a case because it's good for traveling and you know, you just have a designated space for it now. All right, y'all, that's the end of this haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. I loved seeing you guys, you know, letting me know what you got from the Sephora haul or what your recommendations are. So please share down in the comments. I really do appreciate you all watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.